Hey, what's up everybody? Tobin here, 5M Family Homestead Channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. Today I want to talk to you about something that's very important to us uh, as a family and here on our homestead, and that's being prepared in the event of nationwide or global food shortages. So as most of y'all know, you don't have to look very far at all today um, to see and hear talk, uh, read articles about potential and actual uh, food shortages. Um, the, the president of our country um, stood on a platform and, and said that there will be um, food shortages. I'm not making that up. You can, you can search it and, and see. Uh, so uh, for us as a family and in our, on our homestead, we are trying to be as self-sustaining as possible. It's a difficult thing to do uh, nowadays. Um, just being tied into uh, the government, tied into the system, tied into um, the norm is very easy and going the other direction is very hard, unfortunately. But we do our best. Uh, we raise our own animals, we raise uh, pigs, we raise chickens for food, chickens for eggs, and uh, we garden. And today I want to talk about gardening specifically. Anybody, even if you live in an apartment, a condo, anything like that, you can have a small garden. Um, and just being able to provide yourself with basic just vegetables um, and fruits even would be a, a big benefit if there were to be shortages. Today I'm going to show you a economical way to grow a garden in your backyard, on your patio, anywhere like that. So today's video is sponsored by Ollie. Ollie is a maker of raised garden beds. Ollie's garden beds can be assembled in many different configurations. I'll show you that later. Um, it, they are very nice to look at. They are top quality. They're not an eyesore at all. You could put them in your backyard, like sit on your patio. These would work very well in an urban setting and not take away from your property or, or what your property looks like. They are durable, uh, made of quality material. They're corrugated metal and they, they're made with a zinc aluminum coating so they're not gonna rust, they're not gonna break down. They will last for a long time. I think these Ollie Garden raised garden beds are a perfect thing for anybody, but especially somebody in an urban setting. Again, they are, they are very attractive looking you could set up a couple of these in your backyard, even if you live in a very small area, and, and grow a lot of food in them. We've been gardening now for well over 10 years, and this year is our first real experience with raised garden beds, and they have so many more advantages than, um, than planting on the ground. Um, one, they're easier to access, um, to, to pull weeds, to um, tend to the plants, things like that. Another really, really good benefit is you don't have to deal with your plants getting flooded out if you get a lot of rain. Last year, we lost our entire garden because we got, in the springtime, right after we planted everything, we got a just unimaginable amount of rain and it drowned it out of essentially every plant that we planted. We lost hundreds of dollars and tons of time on that garden and we never really, by the time it stopped raining, we were getting in the summertime and we could just never really recover from it. We tried, it was just a bust. Um, you having these raised beds uh, uh, eliminates that problem. All right, y'all, enough of me talking. I'm gonna show you some video of me getting this thing set up, um, opened up out of the box, set up, put together, then getting it set up out in the garden and getting some plants put in it. So I'll go the video. Guys, this Ollie raised bed, uh, garden bed came very compact in this box. Uh, it's unreal how much they were able to fit inside this box. Um, as you can see on the front of the box there, and I'll show you the instructions later, there's several configurations you can make with it. You can make a square, a rec very long rectangle that's real skinny, or a wider rectangle. Um, many, many choices, which is awesome, so you can make it fit where you want it to go, um, which is a bonus for people with uh, not a lot of space like us. Everything was packed in real nice. They even uh, provided a pair of gloves you can see right there. Some of the edges are not not super sharp, but um, you know it is metal, so um, you know just as a precaution you could wear those gloves.
like corrugated metal. It's, it's high quality. You know, that stuff's not going to scratch off there and rust or anything like that. You're going to get um, a long time out of this product. So this is everything. Uh, the pieces are, are, are stacked there on the right. Um, all the nuts and bolts. Uh, this is what I use to put it together with. And then here's a better picture of the configurations you can do. Um, you know, long rectangle, square, small, um, just tons of choices. As you'll see, we chose to do that there in the bottom and the middle. We went with a long rectangle so we could, um, hopefully we're gonna, we, we put a, you'll see later we put a few plants in there, but I'm hoping to put more in there here real soon. Each piece came uh, with plastic on there. You can just see me taking that off. Uh, it keeps it from getting scratched. And then, Probably the longest part is putting the bolts in there. Um, definitely, it, it, it takes a little while. Uh, the whole process from the time I opened this until I finished, probably an hour, uh, give or take. N not too bad at all. Chose to do it inside because uh, Texas heat is already creeping up on us and we're over 100 degrees almost every day now. And so it was cooler to do it in the house. Have my beautiful wife there to help me. And having a impact driver with a socket on it uh, saved a ton of time right here, getting all those uh, bolts tightened up. Here's the finished product. Hard to believe they fit all that in that little box, but they did. Came right to our front door. All right, y'all, it's time to fill this thing up. Uh, we first started with some wood chips. We have a endless supply of wood chips, pretty much. Uh, filled it about halfway with that. Got it packed down in there real good. Then we went with some grass clippings. Uh, also have an endless supply of those. It's a good filler for the bottom of a raised bed. Um, I will admit, I was worried that this thing may, with the length of it, it may kind of bow out on the sides. Um, as you can see, I stood up in there and walked on it and nothing, no, that, that thing is solid as can be. Uh, it did not flex out or bow on the sides at all. So we got some good topsoil here added to it. And then I had my son Easton come out and he gave me a hand and we put some jalapeno plants in there. Guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Hope maybe it uh, opened your eyes to some some things. Um, uh, gardening is can be done very very easy and on a very small piece of property. I hope that, uh, that this kind of encourages y'all to maybe look into that if you haven't already. Um, consider having a little survival garden in your backyard. You know, um, for us, um, the, our our mentality on this it, with raising our own animals and having our garden is is just were things to get bad were we to experience real sh uh, food shortages um, if there was some kind of disruption uh, to the um, supply chain something like that we would be more prepared to deal with that than we were last year or the year before or the year before we just try to learn more each year become more self-sufficient each year um, learn new techniques and um, I encourage y'all to do that Guys, if you like these Ollie raised garden beds and you want to get you one for yourself, I'm going to leave a link in the description with all their information. Uh, you can get them on Amazon. You can have it at your house probably tomorrow. Um, go check them out. There's a lot of other review videos on them um, on YouTube. Uh, go check those out as well if you, if you want to get more information. Um, I, can't, I can't say enough good things about them. Uh, so far, I'm happy with them. I think if you look into building your own raised garden beds, what you'll, you're going to spend on this, you're going to spend uh, that much more, that and much more, um, if you go start building them out of wood and stuff like that. So uh, with the price of materials right now, I think this is a good option for anybody. Go check them out. So do me a favor, drop, drop us a comment. Let us know what you're doing to become more self-sufficient, uh, more self-sustaining. Um, to provide for yourself more, to prepare for uh, if things get bad. Um, 
we're always wanting to learn. Uh, we don't know it all for sure. We learn every day, every every year, uh, more on this process, and uh, we look we enjoy communicating with you guys in the comments and um, learning from y'all and, and hearing ideas and things like that. We love constructive criticism and, and, and advice. Uh, and, and a lot of it, if you go back and watch our videos, we put a lot of that stuff to work and tried it, um, and we appreciate that. If y'all haven't already, uh, please consider subscribing, following, uh, hitting that thumbs up button. Uh, it just, all that stuff helps our videos get seen more. Um, and, and it helps our videos go to a, a bigger audience and, uh, and it and helps us out. And so if y'all would do that for us, we'd really appreciate it. Um, thank y'all so much for the support. Thank you for all that you do and we'll see y'all again.